I'm Jessica Edgar. I'm with the University of Nebraska. I'm a senior fisheries and wildlife major and I'm out here in the sand hills of the UNL Barter Brothers Ranch doing prairie chicken research. Um, we're trying to figure out what kind of habitat and vegetation prairie chickens prefer for uh, nesting and uh, raising their brood. So, um, yeah. They're like a chicken, a regular chicken, a little smaller about two pounds. <laughs> there she is! <laughs> it's a prey chicken. It's just a native grassland bird that likes these wide open empty spaces. It's not empty, full of grass. A big part of it is just to help landowners, you know, if they want to attract prairie chickens um, to their ranch, whether it be to have outside people come in and hunt on there, um, maybe some additional income, or they just like the prairie chickens, uh, hopefully this research will be able to tell them this is the type of habitat that prairie chickens really like and need in order to be successful and to survive. We put the radios on the hens in the spring while, when they come into the lex, and so when they get their collar, then we can follow them around all summer we can find their nest when they initiate their nest in May. We can find their next nest when they initiate in late May and however how many nests they go through. There you can hear. My 392 bird is in this pasture and she has hatched so she has a brood that she's moving around with so each day I have to get a brood point on her so I'm going to find her using my telemetry antenna and then get a point to see what kind of vegetation she's in today with her three chicks that we know of right now. We did a day 10 check, she had three chicks, so hopefully she still has them all. So Jess goes out and this is where all the birds were. You know, this is where they put their nest at. This is where they like to be during broods. I come out then after that and say, okay, this is why she was here. This is an ornate box turtle. It's a sandhill turtle. I really I like this project because it uh, brought in both the wildlife side and uh, the rangeland side because that's uh, as an undergrad I was a double major fisheries and wildlife rangeland ecosystems. Range management's uh, essentially the study of utilizing rangelands for the optimum benefit of society. Um, society being whether it's you know Bureau of Land Management land out west that the entire public owns or whether it's here in the sand hills that it's more of this is a landowner and this is what they need to do with it so it's optimizing what we can get off of these grasslands i like how all the aspects kind of they flow together it's not one you know a lot of i guess the the natural resource fields are like that but it's not one specific area it's the hydrology of it and then you put the plants in and then You've got this factor of, especially here, of, you know, landowners and their cattle that, you know, they want to be getting the most money that they can get off of, you know, their, their pasture ground and be utilizing that the best that they can too. So it's this whole mixture of animals and plants and water and climate and all of this big jumbled up mess that gets thrown together and we somehow try to find a way to make sense of it all.